welcome to wagertalk.com. We're going to take a look at an NFL game. It's the Chargers at Oakland. This video is brought to you by Manic Monday. Each and every Monday at Wager Talk, you can get any play at Wager Talk for just $9. We'll have more about that at the end of the video. Guys, we've got the LA Chargers at the Oakland Raiders. Break up the Chargers. They're on a one game winning streak, guys. Uh, but they beat the Giants. You know, that says all you need to know. And they had no wide receivers in that game at the end of it. Uh, but, Brian, this is going to be your best bet, so I'm going to go to you first, Preston. The Chargers last week, and I know the Sharps have kept chasing this team, and I'm like, you know, I, I finally gave up. I just stayed away from that game last week, and, of course, the Chargers win. But I did say on a lot of the radio shows that I did because, you know, being the masochist that people are, they wanted to talk about the 2-0 and 4 teams <laughs> on radio. And I said the best thing for the Chargers were – to get out of L.A., play a road game, because it's got to be disheartening to sit there in your own stadium and have more people cheering for the other team. Yeah, even in New York. Like, they, <laughs> they seem more comfortable and just happy to be there. And they honestly, they had, I think they had to score last at the end to even right. win that game. So I'm not sure how much credit you can even give them for the one win. This number is really short. There's one number that I saw on screen at CG here in town, and it's three, Raiders minus three. If Carr plays, like, you got to blast that. If he doesn't play, honestly, I don't know if it's that high. I, I, maybe he goes down to like two with E.J. Manuel. So I think the number is basically implying that Carr's not going to play. It's almost I, know, I might gamble and just bet some three at CG here in town, and assuming Carr does end up playing, stuck you know not stuck but holding a really good number. Um, but I couldn't probably take a full position either way until I got the news. Here's the thing, though, Brian. This is your best bet. Even if Carr plays, I mean, he hurt his back. Uh, you know. It was a serious injury. How effective could he be coming right back in the two games prior to him getting hurt were ugly. They were probably two of his worst games of his career. They got drilled in the Washington game, and then uh, Denver had totally handcuffed them to the point of the injury. What do you make of him coming back? Yeah, it's, uh, it's something you always got to be concerned about. We just saw it with the Vikings Monday night. Uh, they bring back their quarterback, and we weren't sure he was going to be back, and he came back too early. Uh, Carr was supposed to be out, what, four to six weeks or yeah, something at that, that point? I know he's a football player and he's tough, and but you've got to be able to protect him, and the, and the Raiders have not done a good job on the offensive line this year. That's a major concern to me. And, you know, if, in fact, I would probably, I tip my hand here, but I, I would probably like the Chargers more if he plays because, as you pointed out, the line will go high. It won't be three. It'll go up a little higher than that. Uh, you can probably get a four and a half at least on the Chargers in that situation. And we had the Chargers last week against the Giants. Talked about it here, um, to getting away and the Giants being there and the whole bet. But uh, the Chargers have no home field advantage at this point. They're going to be a better team, a team you want to bet on on the road. Um, the road team in this series has cashed five straight. Um, I know last year we got a lot of Raiders fans that watch the videos, mm -hmm. and every week we went against the Raiders. and got burned every single week and the Raiders continued to win and they hated us something awful. <laughs> and then earlier, Rolf comes out and says, I love this Raiders team. They yep. haven't won a game since Rolf came out and said that. I'm going to do the Raiders fans a favor. I'm going to bet against the Raiders here. I'm going to take the, the Chargers and after the Raiders come out and get on a hot streak, send me some uh, memorabilia. There you go. Nice. Uh, Preston, I'll throw one thing back to you. Even uh, my concern is not as much of what Derek Carr is going to do. But last week, Baltimore, who had been anemic yeah. for the last two weeks, made Joe Flacco look good. This Raider defense has problems. Yeah, they have, especially you know, against the past, like you mentioned. Can you really – I mean, Rivers, I feel like – I'll start with this. He's a really good quarterback. He's been probably underrated overall in his career. But they have this weird thing where they only run the ball for like three quarters. And if they're not going to come out passing against the Raiders mm -hmm. defense – and they're going to try to run and do that thing, then you know, they're going to keep the Raiders around no matter what. So if they come out just launching it, then, yeah, I mean, you might see a really high-scoring game, too. Play calling for the Chargers has been pretty atrocious. Weird, yeah. yeah. All right, there you go. Brian says to take the Chargers plus the points on Sunday. 
And uh, as I said, the line, we've only seen it at one book here in town. It's currently uh, Raiders minus three. Once we get some further uh, confirmation on who the quarterback will be, you'll see the rest of the books putting up numbers on that one. And don't forget, Monday night, every play on the site on Mondays, just $9. And guys, a lot of people, obviously the Monday night football game is up there, total in uh, side plays, but a lot of cappers will put up an early play for the weekend in football, and you can pick that up for 9 bucks as well. Check it out at wagertalk.com each and every Monday. We'll be back with more here at Wager Talk.